Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me. I'm so glad to have you. Today I'm gonna do three 4th of July farmhouse country decor pieces for you. I had most of these items already that I have collected um, through either finding at the thrift stores or on sale at Dollar General after the holidays, but most of these pieces you can find also at your local Hobby Lobby or craft store. And I'm just going to be using craft barrel and craft paint and some folk art paint in blue, red, and white. These are just super cute. The first project that I'm going to do I messed up on. I thought I was filming again and I wasn't. But this little palette wood I got 70% off at Dollar General after Christmas. I'm pretty sure you can get these at Target or at Hobby Lobby. You're going to want to print off the Pledge of Allegiance. I just googled it and printed it off of Google, Google Images. You're going to want to paint your palette wood. I painted it in folk art white, and then you're going to want to mod podge the Pledge of Allegiance to the palette wood. Easy peasy. I don't know why I didn't hit record, but I didn't. So after that is done, I'm going to take some twine that I got from Dollar Tree. You can get it in the, actually it's in the automotive section. They sell three rolls for a dollar, so it's super affordable. And you're going to want to hot glue it to the back and then wrap it around as many times as you want. I wrapped mine around three because I thought that that gave it the look I was going for. And then what's nice about this is if you um, use a, just a dab of hot glue at the start and you don't like where it is on the piece, you can just add some more glue to the back and then pull the strings up and position it where you want it on the piece cut off any little straggly ends and you're good to go so you're going to want to do that at the bottom also again just use some hot glue put your twine in the glue and then wrap it around as many times as you would like i did mine three when i got back to the um back of the piece i just put the remaining um twine in the hot glue i already had on there to secure it to the back. And then I just added a little bit more just for added security. What's nice about these pieces, if you don't um, like how it turned out, it's so easily changed. So on to the next piece, we're gonna do these little blocks. I had gotten these blocks from Goodwill actually. I had done another video where I did a home little block sign with them and I had these left over. I'm sure you can get blocks at your local Goodwill or probably in the toy section at any store. So I did paint them with a coat of folk art in white and I'm using a chalk marker and on each block I'm putting a U, an S, an A, and then I'm just going to freehand a star on the last one. I forgot to mention those little wood pieces I got from Hobby Lobby. Um, I had used them for a, um, a craft that I did for my cousin's wedding and I had them left over. You can get a bundle of them. I think they're like $4 at Hobby Lobby and they come with probably 20 or 30 wood pieces in them. So after you have those done, I'm using just regular craft paint and I'm painting over what I had written. So in blue, I'm going to paint over the U. And nice thing about country decor, it doesn't have to be perfect. So if you have a little bleeding or you didn't quite go over the line, that's okay. That's what gives it its charm. And me personally, that's what I like about country decor. So now using the red, I'm going to do the same thing. And I'm going to paint over the S. I wrote it in chalk marker first just because it's easier to paint over something you've written than to try to freehand paint letters. So that's why I did it that way. I am using black and going over the A. I know it was already black, but I wanted it to blend in with the other painted pieces. So now using black paint, I'm going to fill in that star. 
and just using the red and the blue I'm just putting polka dots on the black and then I'm putting some polka dots around I think it just gives it like a firework effect and it makes it look like a fourth of July piece now using the black and I'm sorry my hand is in the way very poor filming right here <laughs> I'm so sorry but using the black I'm going around just the front edges of it to give it um like a distressed look my pieces were pink, so I couldn't sand them. If I sanded them, the pink would show through. As you can see on the bottom of the A, I didn't um, paint over the bottoms because I knew I was gonna be gluing them to those wood pieces. But it, since I couldn't sand these, I just used some paint and went around the edges to give that distressed, you know, sanded look. So now take your wood pieces and you're going to just attach the blocks to the wood pieces. I thought these little wood pieces gave it a country feel. It also gives it height. So if you're putting it on a three-tier tray or you're put on just a regular tray, you got that height that you need um, to go over the edges. So take some hot glue and just put hot glue in the center of the wooden block and attach it to your wooden piece. Um, I say put it in the center and don't go all around the edges because when you press down on the wooden piece, the hot glue spreads and this allows it to not come and show through the sides. So like I said, super simple. Now I just took some twine and I put some hot glue on the back of the block and I wrapped some twine around just like I did with the previous project. I went around three times and secured it to the back with the hot glue. I love twine. I probably use twine on almost every piece I do. I just think twine gives it such a country feel. So you're gonna repeat this step on the U and the S and the A. I decided to not put twine on the star just because um, of where the star was on the block, it would have hidden the star the twine would have hid in the star. So like I said, super easy, easy peasy. And there they are. I think these are so cute in farmhouse country. So on to the third project. I got this pallet wood piece actually from Goodwill. But then I found that they sell these at Target. And they are, you can hang them. Or they have a um, like a nautical rope kind of hanger on them. I had purchased these stars also at Goodwill. I got six of them for a dollar and they came on picks. So I thought these two would really marry together to make one cohesive 4th of July piece. So using the folk art paint, I just painted one coat on the top of the pallet wood. I didn't want full coverage I kind of wanted it to look um whitewashed maybe if you if you will so I just only did one coat and now I'm going to take my stars I picked two I took two off of the picks and I'm going to hot glue one to the top corner and I'm going to hot glue the other to the bottom corner you can position if you were to find these stars and they might sell these at Hobby Lobby um, you can just position them on the pallet wood and then use your hot glue gun to get in there and secure them, which is a lot easier. Now taking the paint, same paint I've used in all the other projects in this video, I'm taking white and I'm just going over those stars. And no rhyme or reason, I'm just adding paint just all over different areas of the star. Then I'm going to go back in with my blue. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to repeat that process in no rhyme or reason again. I'm just adding blue um, to the star. I'm not putting it on top of the white, of course. I'm just doing different areas of the star in blue to give it that 4th of July feel. And then I'm going to come in also with the red. And I'm going to do the same thing. And it was super easy. At all. You only need to do one cup one coat and it really just makes a piece pop 
it makes it alive and it gives that 4th of July feel with the red, white, and blue. I love these stars. If Goodwill would have had more of them, I would have bought all of them because I think that they will be great for future projects and stars besides being for 4th of July give everything that country farmhouse feel. So see, you can see the blue, the red, white, and blue just makes it pop. Using the same black chalk, chalk marker, I'm going to come in, I'm just going to freehand. I wanted to freehand instead of using my silhouette just to give it that more um, country feel, you know, of imperfection because I don't have the greatest printing, but it's not the worst either. So I'm going to freehand home of the free because of the brave on this piece. And I don't know about you guys, but my husband is was in the Navy. My son was in the Army. Um, I love doing these pieces, and it just, I'm so proud of our veterans, and I'm so thankful for them serving our country. And there it is in my family room. I have it on this tray that I had repurposed. Um, I think I got the tray from Miracle Hill. And I think these pieces just look beautiful. I think they look country and rustic. And they are a great addition for my 4th of July home decor. And it was super fun making these and sharing them with you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider subscribing to my channel. Ring that bell for future notifications. And hit that thumbs up to let me know how much you liked it. Thanks again, y'all. You have a wonderful and blessed day.